What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Um, we're at 11,190. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just a bomb.com. If you like to donate, it's Hyper Sister 05. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. I appreciate all the love and support. Single mom and two kids. So it helps support a single mama's income stream. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so I received a channel. It's a very, very, very interesting one. Um, it's a great one, but interesting one. So I'm going to share it. If you think anyone else could benefit from uh, my videos, if you wouldn't mind sharing my videos on your social media and word of mouth, I appreciate it. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was someone's about to uh, get so pissed off and have so much stress and anxiety um, in their life that they are about to make a huge mistake. <clears throat> they are about to break the jar. Um that they have um, that they have put a severe curse on you with. Um, you, I heard curse and hex. So you plug it in, how it resonates, um, a curse and a hex. Uh, whoever this is, they seriously don't like your ass, I'll tell you that. Um, a curse and a hex. Um, they, I mean, they have your name in a jar. They have, um, and, and other things. Very, very, very evil intentions here. And they've been doing it for years. Okay. So they have your name in the jar and other, other evil intentions in the jar. So it's a dark arts. Um, it's, it's voodoo, basically. It's voodoo. Um, basically. I mean, just saying, just saying. I mean, they've got a curse and a hex on it. They've got evil intentions of you in the jar i mean i'm assuming not many people know about this because <laughs> if they say <coughs> excuse me because if they're saying it out in the free world <laughs> to the public yeah i've got blasey blasey blasey's name in a jar and i've got a curse and a hex on it i mean people will be going woo 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 -woo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> unless they're the ones um, helping them make it. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they're about to uh, get so pissed off and have so much stress and anxiety in their life that basically they're about to screw up. They're about to screw up. And the jar, the jar is about to shatter into a mil million pieces. You are about to be free. Oh my God. Okay, the jar is about to shatter into a million pieces. You're about to be free. So I feel heavy voodoo arts here. And I'm being serious. Uh, they got a hex and a curse and evil, evil intentions on you. They're not positive affirmations. They're negative affirmations for you. And a hex and a curse in a jar. Which, you know, you can do love spells in a jar on the positive side. Not like obsession and stalker spells. But... You know, um, manifesting positive intentions into your life with the jar. You can do um, positive things on the light side, manifestations in a jar. This is like an evil voodoo dark arts jar um, with hexing and cursing. And um, and they've been doing it to you for years, whoever this is for. I mean, they really want you to go down. They want you to go down, baby. But... I'm sure they're not telling many people they want you to go down because, you know, if you go displaying that around all of public, um, it's going to turn around on their ass. You see what I'm saying? So I'm sure they're not going around telling everybody and their mama they've got, um, it's kind of like having a voodoo doll except in a jar. Um, and I'm just being for real. Uh, it's not a voodoo doll. It, it is a jar. <laughs> So, you know, you can have voodoo dolls, and we all know what a voodoo doll is, um, with the um, negative curses and um, affirmations and 
rituals with the doll and the pins or what blasey blasey blasey. This is a jar. And like I said, you can use it on the light side or you can use it on the dark side. I've seen it used on the light side. And I've read about it being used on the dark side. But somebody really, really, really is doing it to you. Uh, like, And I heard they've been doing it for years. So if you feel your manifestations have not been coming to um, like for real, for real, for fruition, like they should be, um, or things are not quite working out in your life like they should be, Somebody's, I mean, somebody, I heard a hearse and a hearse, a hearse, a hearse. <laughs> that should be like a curse and a hex together, a hearse. Um, a, her, a curse and a hex. They got a curse and a hex on this, on this bitch. I mean, and I'm sure they've got it tucked away somewhere. I don't know if it's in, I don't know where it's at. Um, their vehicle, they're probably not their vehicle, probably their home, like underneath their bed or on their dark arts altar or some shit. But Something's about to happen. I heard it's about to break into a million pieces. And they've been doing this to you for years. This is divinely guided to happen. This is divinely guided to happen is what I just heard. It's divinely guided to happen. And other shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this as well. Very positively for you. And other shocking series of chain events are going to occur with this as well. Very positively for you. You're about to get your life back very, very, very speedily, very quickly. Okay, I heard it. Oh, my God. We pulled the void reverse. And I heard other shocking series of chain events are about to occur with this. You're about to get your life back very positively and very speedily. So, congrats to whoever this is for. I mean, whoever this is. For some, it is a sister. For some, it is a co-worker. For someone as a co-worker, you have not met yet, but you're about to reconnect with them. Current workplace situation, former co-worker. Okay, so you plug like it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, it's a sister that's doing this to you. For some, it is a, um, a co-worker. Um, and for some, it is a co-worker, but you have not connected with this co-worker yet in your workplace situation they are a co-worker it sounds like in your workplace situation but you have not connected with them but it is somebody of your past so you're about to reconnect with them um so soon you're about to reconnect with them but you haven't connected with them yet in your workplace situation if that makes sense and for some it is a co-worker it sounds like you've already connected with um in the 3d in your workplace situation and for some it is your sister for some, it could be one, one of these. For some, it could be two plus. You plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, somebody's got some major hateration. Um, I get it. I've got major hater, hateration too. We're all in this together, peeps. Just saying, just saying. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So uh, the void reverse. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call. Heavy fire sign of air sign energy. Heavy fire sign of air sign energy. And water sign energy. And a water sign that has been doing love spells, they are on a fire sign. They're about to stop. They have realized it has really, really fucked up their life. Oh, whoa. Oh, my God. You plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Oh, not Jesus. I, I, I don't want to say that because I... Uh, I appreciate everybody, um, no matter what, whether you are religious, whether you are just spiritual, whether you're religious and spiritual, I appreciate everybody, no matter what your spiritual background or your religious or spiritual background, so I'm sorry, I shouldn't say Jesus, I apologize, but um, yeah, wow, okay, so we're getting back, so wow, <laughs> okay, so but I heard the jar's about to shatter into a million pieces. Like I said, for some, it's your sister doing this. Um, whether it's your blood sister or you call her a sister or um, or you grew up as sisters or what have you. Some kind of sister energy. For some, it is a, a co-worker you've been working with actively or was working actively with. And for some, and I, uh, I'm sure you can probably, probably pick up on that one. Um, jealousy, hate, um, Envy, nastiness, you know, um, 
just saying to say it. And for some, um, a, like a, it's a former coworker, but they work in your current workplace situation, but you have not reconnected with them yet in your former, I mean, in your current workplace situation, but you're about to. So it's somebody of your past you have worked with in your past, but you haven't reconnected with them yet, but you're about to. Um, and that's probably what's going to cause the anxiety and stress in their life too, because I think they're probably going to realize you're all, uh, you're under their ass. Um, with the behind the scenes voodoo shit, because that's voodoo all fucking day long. Trust me, I have strong voodoo in my blood, man. Strong voodoo in my blood. That That's voodoo, just for real, for real. I didn't hear voodoo in here, but it is. It is. A hex and a freaking curse. A hearse. I'm just going to say a hearse. It's a damn hearse in a bottle. I mean, and not in a bottle, in a jar. Um, they might have collected some of your hair too, or skin particles, or some 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 something of your body, uh, like a body part, like a fingernail, or some skin particles, or hair, or something to make it more potent. And I'm serious about that. And um, I heard a water sign has been doing heavy. Um, they've been doing love spells on you. So uh, maybe I didn't hear sex magic, but probably sex magic, some kind of love spell energy. I think it's sex magic or something of that nature, whoever you are. And this resonates for your fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, you have Aries, Leo, Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter. But I heard they're going to quit doing it because it is screwing up their life so bad. So you plug it in your life, how it resonates, fire sign, if that resonates for you. Um, you're dealing with the water sign. You can be a masculine or femme fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, have Aries, Leo, Sag, and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter charts. But it's a water sign doing love spells on you. I think sex magic or um, come hither to me, baby, energy or something like that. There's a million love spells, sex magic spells out there. So how that resonates. But it's a water sign doing it to you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But it sounds like it's backfiring on them because I heard they're going to quit doing it because it's screwing up their life so bad. So something is backfiring with that love spell, sex magic, or whatever the hell they're doing in the romantic department. It's not bringing you to them. It sounds like it's making their life worse. Um, maybe it's bringing, uh, I feel it might be bringing other crazy psychos to them. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Fire sign. Um, it's a water sign doing this to you. But you, oh, hi, yikes. Okay, so we have the void reverse. I heard your life's about to speed up in a very, very, very positive, wonderful way. Um, after the series of chain of events, it sounds like after the curse, I'm just going to call it hearse, the hearse and the hex, uh, hex jar. I mean, I'm sorry, the curse and the hex jar smashes into about a million smithereens, basically. We've got the void reversed. Number one could be a very significant number in one's life. Number one, it can be uh, a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, uh, jersey number. Number one, the void reversed. And I just want to uh, disclaimer this on here real quick before we continue in the reading. Um, I've never done dark art today in my life. I just want to let everybody know. Um, I personally never have. Yes, I have heavy voodoo uh, practitioner ancestral blood in me. Um, just my ancestors, that's just who they are. Um, and some of my current living <laughs> um, family. And that's just the truth. But am I have I ever, ever, ever practiced dark arts ever? Or am I interested in uh, practicing dark arts? No. And that is the truth. Never have I ever practiced dark arts. N am I interested in practicing dark arts? No. But do I like to know about dark arts and the dangers of dark arts and be able to protect myself from dark arts? Yes, if that makes sense. So I just want to make that very abundantly clear to everybody. Um, because you should, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. Now, are you going to take your knowledge and use it on the light side of life or the dark side of life? And that's just the truth. You know what I'm saying? So um, you plug it in, it resonates. Someone has realized they have been lied to in a huge, huge, huge way. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur. 
Okay, I heard someone has realized they've been lied to in a huge, huge, huge way. Several shocking series of chain events are about to occur. So maybe you realized you were lied to in a huge way or um, someone you're connected to, but somebody, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, um, has realized they have been lied to in a huge way. Um, and several shocking series of chain events are about to occur. So you um, you only plug the messages in that resonate for you. So um, you, you plug it in how it resonates. But one, at least one of you guys in the universe, at least one of my subscribers, I feel uh, you feel you you realize you've been lied to in some shape, form, or fashion. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so the void reverse. I heard you're going to be very, very, very happy. Um, your life's about to speed up in a very positive, fruitful, beautiful way. Um, the hearse is about to be broken, man. The hex slash curse is about to be broken. Um, I mean, I would love to know where they have this hearse type jar hidden. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's in their shoe. They got it stuffed in their mattress. Um, if they've got 50 voodoo dolls around it with pins poked in your head and your back and your legs, and they probably do. Hell, I don't know. The void reverse. You are about to be so, so, so happy after many series of shame events. Justice, true justice is coming in the spiritual realm and in the true justice system realm. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Holy crap. I heard you're about to be very happy after many series of shame events, basically. Um, whoever you are, um... Your life's about to speed up in a very positive, speedy, positive way. And um, you're about to get, our justice is about to be served in the spiritual realm and in um, in the true, in the justice system realm. So in the 3D justice system, uh, justice system realm. So you plug in how it resonates. So void reverse is no depression. It's happiness. It's opposite of depression. It's happiness. It's um, excitement. It's um, joyfulness. It's... Um, your life speeding up in a positive way. Whoever you are, I feel you've been held back, purposely held back. I think, uh, obviously, you have been with this hearse energy, this hex and curse jar somebody's got stashed up somewhere in the um, confines of their home or their vehicle or somewhere sacred. Probably their dark arts altar or some crap. Um, dear Lord Almighty. Spirit messages you have to break with. Growth, yeah, you cannot make this crap up. Growth, man. Number five might be a very significant number in one's life. Number five, it could be a possible age of viewers, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible um, jersey number, growth. Huge, huge, huge growth coming. In your career and in your hobbies. Huge. Suit in quickly. Wow. It's going to make some people jealous, but way, 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 way more people happier. Know this. Okay, that's beautiful. So I heard you're about to experience huge growth um, in your career, not only in your career, but in your hobbies. Now, whatever hobbies they are, you know, everybody has different hobbies. You have to plug it in, how it resonates, if it resonates for you. Um, like, one of my hobbies is this. So, um, even though I make money off of it, I, it's still one of my hobbies. So, um, but that's just me. Now, everybody's different. So, whatever hobbies it is for you is what I'm trying to say. Um, I feel, you know, that's something you enjoy to do. It's something you do on your personal time, your free time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and for some, you have a career and hobbies. So, if for some, it could just be hobbies, but you plug it in, how it resonates, but huge, expansive growth in your career and your hobbies. So, hobbies, things you like to do, basically, whether you get paid for them or not. It's nicer if you get paid for your hobbies, just saying, just saying, but, you know, you plug it in, how it resonates. But huge, expansive growth here. I mean, and I heard quickly, quickly, um, I feel you, you, you have obviously been held back. I mean... I, if somebody puts a hearse, uh, a hearse, yeah, a hearse, a hex and a curse on you and evil 
intentions in a jar, all three of those trying energy combined, they have, and I heard they've been doing it for years. They obviously see you as a threat. They're obviously jealous of you, and they obviously do not want you to do well. I mean, I am serious as a, I am so serious about that. Usually somebody puts a pets in a jar and does their thing. Or usually somebody puts a curse in a jar and does their thing. Or usually somebody puts a, um, um, you know, evil intentions, uh, evil affirmations in a jar and does their thing. But all three of them together, that's the trying right there of evil intentions. I mean, they really didn't want you to do well. Um, and whoever you are, you should, you should be a lot further along. I feel you should be a lot further along by now. Um, <laughs> but I mean, this is confirmation growth. You're about to experience huge, expansive growth. Um, we have assessing on the bottom of the deck. Number nine might be very significant. Number nine it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number nine. Someone's about to see this huge growth after it occurs. And they're going to realize what really was going on. Okay, so you plug it in. How are things? I heard somebody's going to see this huge growth after it occurs. And they're going to see what's really going on. So um, they're going to assess the situation after uh, it sounds like this curse energy is about to be broken. This, um, the hex, the curse, and the evil affirmations uh, that they have set upon you. Um, somebody's been doing it for damn years and, um, but the curse is, well, the curse, the hex curse and the evil intentions, the jar is about to be broken. They're about to be so stressed and pissed and somehow it's about to be broken. Um, and, uh, into a million pieces I heard. So it's not, you know, they're not going to take that bitch back together. I mean, it's about to shatter. Um, and so, and so when you start experiencing growth in your hobbies, I feel you might make money for some of you, you might make money off of them. Uh, for some of you may not, but you're about to experience, I feel you, I feel you do make money off of them because somebody's about to see the expansive growth in your career and your hobbies. Whether you make money off of them or not, you're about to flourish positively. I'll tell you that. I mean, th this is beautiful. We have growth and assessing. All right. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't, but I heard this is divinely guided. And one of these people is about to get very extremely ill soon. Black magic backfiring. And one of these people is about to get very extremely ill soon. Black magic backfiring. So you plug it in how it resonates. So um, they're about to get stressed and pissed and the curse energy, the hex curse, and the evil affirmations jar is about to basically burst into a million pieces. You're about to be free spiritually and energetically there. Um, we've got a water sign about to quit putting a love spells or romantic spells or sex magic or whatever they're doing on a fire sign. Um, that's good for you, fire sign. I didn't hear a sign on who this is for. I guess you could be any sign. You have to plug that in your life, how it resonates with the hearse energy. Um, this is this is great. Honestly, this is really, really great. It truly, truly is. Um, it really is, whoever this is for, because somebody has had you bind it. I feel like a binding spell. I mean, this is the trying of all evil affirmations is like a freaking binding spell. And And I'm serious about that. I am so serious, but um, the black magic is about to backfire on them. I heard they're about to get extremely ill soon. And black magic, whether regardless of what some readers tell you, I'm just saying. Now, not, I mean, some readers do tell you it backfires because it's the truth. But some tell you they don't. It doesn't. Black magic always freaking backfires, man. Always backfires. It makes sense for the law of physics and the law of the universe that it would backfire. And I'm serious. Everything you put into the universe has an effect, period, either positive or negative. Um, and if you put negative in the universe, it makes sense. It would all, it would come back. Now, it may not come back immediately, and sometimes it don't, but it will come back. In this sense, it's going to come back in a form of a bad medical illness and or illness. So I don't know if it's medical or mental health in some shape, form, or fashion. 
some kind of bad illness in some shape, form, or fashion. But I feel it's the person that was making this hearse energy. Um, they put a hex, a curse, and evil affirmations in a jar, and they've been doing it for years on you. Um, Lord have mercy. All right, well, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices, and I'm going to stay. Oh, real quick. I want to uh, say I heard fire sign and air sign energy. So I feel, I was going to say real quick, either the, it, it, I feel it's either a fire sign or an air sign that made this first energy, the hex curse with the evil affirmations jar. Feel it was a fire sign or an air sign. Or you could be a fire sign or an air sign that the hearse was made for because energies can be reversed. So either a fire sign or an air sign put the hearse on you or you are a fire sign or air sign that had the hearse put on you. However that resonates. Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sag. Air signs are uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have to plug in your life how it resonates. You could have Aries, Leo, Sag, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Haver, Jupiter, Charts. All right, you guys. I love you guys so much. And namaste.